Hello, so in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you a bit about mass effects and how to make things explode. Um, you can do other things with this technique such as making things crumble and I did an earthquake sequence as well using this technique. So let's get to it. Hello, so in this tutorial we're going to be creating a cube but you can apply it to whatever object you want that basically explodes. Um, this looks pretty cool. Uh, the debris just flies off everywhere and settles. Um, so, reset the scene. And I'm going to start off and just create a box. I'll just do 300 by 300 by 300. Um, and I'm going to center it just to keep things nice and neat. Um, I'm now going to create a plane slightly bigger than the box and just drag that up. Um, until it's almost at the top and then just create some more length and width segments so it's a denser mesh and I'm going to convert this to an editable poly select all of these vertices add a noise modifier set it to fractal and just pull the, um, the Z position up which will uh, distort this plane quite a lot. You can um, also make it rougher to make the pieces more jagged um, and pull it up so you can see how you want it to be. Um, and then you can just play with the seed until you find something that you like the look of. So I'm just going to stick with that one um, and again convert it to an editable poly which will just collapse all this down on the right hand side in the modifier stack and um, I'm now going to change this plane to a compound object pro cutter and I want to see stuck outside and inside of the cutter and I want to pick this box which basically just creates this jagged line this plane through our box um, and if we just convert this to an editable poly, you can see what we've got detached here. Um, looks pretty cool. Um, right, now what do we need to do? We need to use a script called Fracture Veronoi. I think it's a free script that you can download. Um, just run that. And what we do want to do is just detach this element on the top into its own object and might as well just make it into a different colour for a bit of clarity. Um, I'm going to pick that object on the top and a decent amount of uh, pieces. I'm going to make it a uniform colour so it's easy to deal with later and I'm going to use volumetric cell centres because I've heard that they are better for some reason I have no idea why they're better though um, and then I'm just going to click break and it will do this little calculation here and bam and we have all of our pieces I'm going to click edit, select by colour, and there you go, you can see we've just selected all of these green pieces, which is why we um, kept them the same. Um, and what I'll do now is use mass effects, turn this into a static rigid body. I would like the shape type to be original, so it follows all these little lines. And then if we 
select by color, select these top parts, and turn them into dynamic rigid bodies. And the default uh, sort of rigid bodies that Mass Effect puts around them will be uh, convex, which they will overlap because they'll just sort of make a basic polygon around that object, um, which is what we want for this because it will make these pieces explode away from each other. It's just the way Mass Effect calculates that. Um, and if we just test this to see what we've got, hopefully got an explosion. Ooh. What we'll probably see now is sometimes these wobble about all over the place and, and to stop that you uh, need to change your substeps and solver iterations up a bit. Yours will probably be default to 1 and 4 I think which if we do that Let it calculate. Um, oh, we need to reset the simulation first. My bad. Makes it explode a lot less with these uh, settings down. But if I remember rightly. Oh, no, it's actually settled really nicely. But uh, sometimes you'll find that these bits will just bounce around and look really horrible, so up in these will uh, improve it a bit, and apparently it um, makes the explosion bigger, I'm not sure why that is, but I think that looks really cool, like that. Um, there you have it, that's basically it. You can also do, uh, if you just want a sort of crumbling effect, I reckon There's a little tick box around here somewhere. And I should probably select them all actually. Select by colour. Um, and then you can have collide with rigid bodies. So it'll only collide with this base object. And should theoretically just make the pieces. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Forget about that. Um, I thought it would still collide with the space bit and just make them crumble off, but no, that didn't work at all. Oh well, worth a try. Boom. There you have it. You can just play around with the different material types and density of these, and then you can bake all at the end of it, which will basically convert all of this into keyframes which will allow you to render it and just make the whole thing run a lot quicker. Um, so then you can just play it. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.